What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support on a road to 100K by the end of the year. Let's get it. Like the music that you hear, click the links that are in the description. Also be on the lookout for the travel vlog, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. I think I need about 470 or 480 more subs to hit a thousand man so please help me reach my goal of a thousand before i leave for Badenkia on january 31st that's about 18 19 days give or take all right so i'm gonna be reacting to a clip that was sent by a subscriber a black woman went viral for um you know trying to talk men into staying on the plantation as, as we like to say so, I'm intrigued to hear what she had to say. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I'm aware that this may gain some attention. So, I want to clarify and express some things. I want to utilize my platform as positively as possible. And I try to be level-headed and considerate of both sides. Okay? Men want traditional women to marry. That is why they're going to other countries. Look, y'all desire something so bad. That y'all want to step and baby look i ain't mad at you okay truly i do not blame the escape because a lot of american chicks priorities are messed up Bruh. we are greedy selfish ungrateful we can't be held accountable we have this exploitative transactional mindset and we're obstinate i'm not saying every chick here is that way but from what i witnessed and what's transpired in my life talking to my peers colleagues family and what i see on social media and tv let me just say american chicks are on a low vibrational wavelength yep and i strongly agree with everything that she said because everything that she mentioned is stuff that i've done videos on the transactional mindset how that's keeping them single the transactional mindset is keeping y'all single because it contradicts what y'all try to push the single independent mindset always talking about how ah, i'm bringing my bag to the table i don't need your money but but you gonna spend your money wait a minute what the hell transactional mindset doesn't make any sense you know what i'm saying but the moment i say i expect some box because i'm taking you out on this date now all of a sudden we got a problem with this transactional mindset you can't make this shit up greedy Good Lord, you talk, You want to talk about greedy? These modern women are expecting more from men out of relationships and marriage, but offering less. Get the French toast out of here. They get offended. They get offended every time somebody brings up 50-50, even though we live in an economy where you need to incomes because most people in this country are making, what, 50000 or less? Like, come on, y'all. Like, let, let, let's be realistic here. Holding men to a traditional standard, but don't want to be traditional y'all selves. You know what I mean? It's a variety of things. You know what I mean? And I'm, I, I'm like, and, I'm, and I don't think she missed one. I don't think she missed a single point either. Let's keep it moving. And a lot of us champion toxic behavior. I mean, look at TikTok. But what is problematic is this frequent habit or proclivity of black men denigrating their women in the process when when they're talking about their preferences Bruh. listen there are a lot of us reclaiming our image advocating for men reflective of issues holding ourselves accountable you know we're trying to comprehend our men and unlearn toxic habits and behaviors whether that's relationship skills poor money management you know undesirable relationship skills you know our health whatever it needs work a lot of us are trying to counter the stereotypes let me just say this i am sorry if i were insensitive in the prior videos i took time to understand what i misunderstood i can't lie though i'm disheartened because i love my men i welcome my men you know i need my men in every way possible for protection provision procreation problem solving I don't care what these hurt chicks say. Black man, you are valuable. And I am adamant, very adamant, about black love, building a black family, and we need you. I don't care what they gotta say. You know what, I can appreciate that, but 
a lot of the things that she mentioned, you know, those four P's that Crimson Cure always talk about, the women nowadays, they don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate it anymore. And here's the thing that that gets lost, especially when we talk about this the one P in particular, provisioning. See, the problem with that word is not necessarily the word itself, but what women perceive that word to mean because they think it only means financially. They think it they only think of finances when they think of provisioning. They don't think about the decision making and the problem solving that comes with provisioning, which is really in my in my opinion more of the main component. Cuz when I think of when I think of provisioning, I'm thinking of okay, does this man have the capability of planning things ahead of time to put us in the in, in, in the in the right direction? So that way, so that way, when time comes to pass, we ain't over here looking goofy like we don't know what the hell going on, or we don't, or we ain't doing what we supposed to do. Things of that nature. It's more to provisioning than just finances in my opinion so I think that's something that gets lost you know in terms of what she's you know in terms of the stuff that she referenced to in this clip but I appreciate the sentiment but you know it's like I say and like I see in the comments all the time I'm like I really think it's just a little bit too late and I think women have embraced this rebellious attitude <laughs> you know what I mean They've they're the a lot of women right now are what Britney Renner was ten years ago. Ten years from now, those women are gonna be what Britney Renner is right now. <laughs> Humble, hitting the wall and regretting her decisions that she made in her twenties. I'm like, that's why they predicting half of y'all to be single by twenty thirty. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the travel vlog, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.